Good evening, guys. We're going to be doing another second video here. We're going to be working on our arches and our Achilles here. So today's focus is going to be a little bit more lower limb type work. Um, so what we're starting here with is our big toe pushes. So what I want you to do, you're going to see I'm actually doing two different stances with each leg here based on where your foot mobility is and where you can generate force. I want you to find that button right on the tip of the big toe and I want you to push that button hard into the ground and maintain tension as you kind of flex through this big toe position here and try to take that big toe through its full range of motion. Now the closer you get underneath your midline the easier it's going to be as you work your way back further here this is going to take a little bit more a little bit more advanced as your foot starts opening up a little bit more. Okay so this one's pretty hard. Um, this one's hard if you've never used your big toes before. It's going to be a little difficult. Okay. So our next one we're going to be doing here is our three angle calf raise with our ball block. So now this one here is going to be locking the ankles in position. It's going to be helping you to centralize that ankle in the middle of the lower limb, little uh, the lower limb bone. So what we're trying to do here is maintain that ball to foot contact, pinky, big toe. We're trying to flex into the ground. We're trying to flex that arch of the foot. And then we're trying to pull ourselves down. We're not just fighting the weight on the way down. We wanna pull ourselves down. Now we're gonna be doing our second angle here. We're gonna go from toes pointed straight forward to toes about out 45 degrees. And you may have to mess around with where you pinch the ball here everyone's heel shape is just a little bit different. And you also wanna to try to keep the knees slightly internally rotated here as to line up over top of the ankle. Um, don't let yourself fall too far in external rotation or even with the ball block, your ankle's gonna, you're gonna get into the outside of your uh, calf and you're not really gonna use everything equally. Um, then we kind of defeat the purpose of the drill. So the next one that we're gonna be moving into here is almost our plie here. So this is the one where you're gonna have to mess around with some ball positioning here. And you wanna try to get it where, in a spot between your heels, where you definitely feel like you're gonna be able to generate some force and pinch as hard as you can, fire the hamstrings, try to slightly keep the knee over top of the ankle here, uh, keeping everything engaged. So what we're gonna do here See, we work through here and try to make sure everything fires equally. So trying to explore and find those different portions of the calf here, different portions of the arch of the foot. Make sure that we're working on all of our lateral parts of the foot as well. See right here, I'm making my knee adjustments, making sure I'm keeping everything together. Don't lose the ball. And now we're gonna transfer over here into our calf raise D cells. So what we're gonna do here is we're working on pulling ourselves into the floor again. So you're gonna start in your ankle extended position. You're gonna find big toe, ball of the foot, pinky toe. Try to get that power triangle right at the tip of the foot, including all the toes, pretty much the back line from the ball of the foot over the pinky forward. We wanna to try to get all of that engaged to the book here in our extended calf position. And then we wanna learn, we wanna flex into the calf here and pull the calf down, trying to load the arch of the foot. Um, this is also gonna help a lot quite with shin splints, just because of the fact that most shin splints come from immobile tissue on the front side of the leg and kind of a little bit um, under activity of being able to pull that toe up. Um, this normally can come from some tight plantar fascial tissues around the heel as well. So we just wanna make sure that we're trying to pull ourselves down in enough of a pattern here and not too fast. We don't wanna just drop and snap down to the ground, but we wanna make sure we're controlling this portion of the movement so we get to learn to go both directions. Next one we're gonna move into here is we're gonna be setting up that power triangle right on the end of the foot there, right on our book. And you're gonna to try to maintain your three points of contact here. So you wanna think about the big toe and the ball of the foot, the pinky toe, and then you wanna think dead center of the heel here. Now, I like to hold on to something when I'm first starting off with these just because of the fact that this is a little uncomfortable range getting working into the different portions of the arch of the foot here. Um, so you may need just something for a little bit of balance. Um, it is a little bit of an awkward position at the start. 
and you want to try to slowly start it's okay to let this knee pitch forward just a little bit but we still want to make sure we're braced through our torso and still engaging through our glute as we stand up now right, we're going to switch over to the legs here my imbalances are a little bit different on my feet than some people's are everyone's are a little cocked differently um, from, but from what I've seen, a lot of people tend to have a slightly collapsed in right arch, and then they normally have a pretty strong left arch or a super shut down left arch, which is kind of a little rolled outward, um, which is gonna kind of change how everything patterns up the torso. It's gonna affect the adductor development. It's also gonna affect your abdominals because the adductor's hamstrings turn into the pelvic floor. Um, so it kind of sh this is very important of being able to keep this foot engaged as you move through your pattern here. Um, and this is where a lot of our balance comes from, being able to keep that foot suction cup to the ground. Our last one we're going to move into is our little bit of our runner's hop here. So what we're trying to do is still suction cup to the ground, still try to keep that arch loaded. And we're kind of going through our stride here a little bit. We want to be moving through our serratus. We want to try to keep our rib cage down and we want to try to do just enough of a toe off and then land and suction cup to the ground again and catch our balance. And that's about all we're going to be working on today, guys. Give these things a try. See how your arches and Achilles start feeling.